have a woman of so many qualities to serve as the first lady of Tate Temple. Following the ministry of music from the praise team, please receive the speaker of the hour, one of God's chosen vessels, God's leading lady, a woman of grace, wisdom, dignity, and respect, First Lady Dolores Williams.
in everything, give thanks. Mm. But this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These two scriptures are very familiar to us. Amen? Amen. Many of us can recite them from memory. Mm -hmm. They're pretty easy to memorize, but much harder for us to put them into practice and live by them. All right. So it was seen. Yes, we are children of the Most High God. We're still a work in progress. Amen? Amen? Amen. We're still a work in progress. Amen. I need you to pray for me this morning. Right. I need you to get, I need you, amen? I need you to just pray for me. Yes, we're living this same life that we might live again. But God is not through with us. My thought for this morning is stop complaining and tell God thank you. Come on and say that with me. Stop complaining and tell God thank you. In our text today, the Apostle Paul admonishes the church of Philippi to do all things without complaining and arguing. Ask me why? why? So that you and I may become blameless and harmless the children of God. Without having fault, mm, but in everything giving thanks. Yeah, yeah. What Paul calls murmuring and disputing in the New and the King James Version is what we call complaining and arguing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Whatever name you want to use, not even a hint that should be found in God's people. All right. God help us today. Help us. Paul reminds us that complaining is unquestionably a sign of unbelief. Right. It simply means we are not trusting God. Yeah. Right. Oh, will we complain? Right. Oh, yes, yes. Our flesh chooses to think we can order our lives better than God can. Uh -huh. We're in control of this. Uh -huh. But I come to take, we're not in control. Uh -huh. God is in control. Uh -huh. But a God that responds to any of our circumstances should mean a trust, I trust God, and I joyfully wait on the Lord, for I want His plan to be manifested in my life. Yeah. In any situation, God's plan must be manifested. All right. In this passage, the Apostle Paul makes an appeal to our spirit to stop complaining. It's just tell God thank you. All right. But think about it. Complaining is probably one of the most ungodly, soul tired things that is most tolerated by the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. We're okay with complaining. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. We're okay with complaining because we practice it. We practice doing it. Mm -hmm. Since we practice doing it for so long, mm -hmm. consequently, we don't think complaining is ungodly. It's unhappy. Uh -huh. And it's displeasing to the Lord. Well, I may be meddling this morning, uh, but this is the word God gave me. All right. Do you not know that complaining is the opposite of thanksgiving? Mm. Giving thanks is pleasing to God. Uh -huh. So needless to say, complaining is displeasing to God. It's pleasing to God when we give thanks. It's displeasing to God when we complain. Oh, yes, the devil likes it when we complain. Oh, yeah. He gets yeah. some glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. But only my God gets the glory. Yeah. It's time for us to stop complaining mm -hmm. and tell God thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Listen to the God gets creator to complain. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. We should not be complaining.
The Bible said to us it's a sin. Hallelujah. Kids are like sin. They pray God in one breath and complain against God in the next breath. Does that sound familiar to some of us? Hey, God heard every word they say. God heard it.
Amen. Oh my God. I uh, wish they would stop. And you just, you know, you get those phone calls. Sometimes people just, all they got is bad news. They don't want to tell you, God been good to me, God. God is blessing me. I feel better today than I felt yesterday. Ain't that good? My tongue was hurt, but my tongue was so hurt. Praise testimony. Give the praise testimony. I know we get sick, and it's good to tell one another about it, but, but, but in prayer. In prayer and thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Stand the pain. Give God thanks. Thank him. And the thank you is the best remedy for complaining. Thank you. Be thankful. There's always something to be grateful for if you have the mind of Christ. I don't care if you got five body parts that are hurting you right now. Right now, five body parts. Thank God for the ones that ain't hurting. Amen. Thank God for the ones that ain't hurting. I know that's not my friend. That aren't hurting. Yeah. When you're going through every day disappointment, give God thanks. Natural disasters, give God thanks. Job losses, give God thanks. Money, fine. Y'all know our money get fine. But it's 
by God's grace and mercy that we get up every morning and go to our job. I don't work now, but I thank God when I was working. He gave me strength. And he's still giving me strength. To get up every morning and be about my father's business. Yeah, yeah. we need to stop complaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell God thanks. That's the word he gave me to give to you today. God bless you. God keep you is my prayer. Amen. We're going to stop complaining. Amen. We're going to stop complaining. We're going to stop complaining. It's still that when you catch yourself to play this song to them. Hallelujah. First lady. Said God said, stop complaining and tell God thank you in all things. Give thanks. Stop complaining. We're standing all over the ring. Hallelujah. 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 You're here today. Hallelujah. A whole line. Hallelujah. And you need prayer. My God, you can come right now. Glory to God. You can give it to God at your seat. You can give it to God in your home. Whenever you think he drives along the road, you can still give it to God right now. You can come to God wherever you are. Hallelujah. God will accept you. There is room. There is room at the cross for you. For each of us to move up a little bit higher. There is room. Hallelujah. The day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Hallelujah. This word came from God, so harden not your heart. When we harden our heart, then worse of things will come upon us. Glory to God. Harden not your heart.
Thank you. 